in this video we are going to create components components help us create standalone widgets or as they are called components which can be reused throughout the application so as I had discussed earlier in this fiddle that what I ideally would want to do is make this to-do list part as one component and the to-do add form as one component which will be you know included in one single app so let's create from scratch <coughs> I already have Vue.js and Bootstrap included so I'll I'll just start with the markup So far, we have already done this, so nothing new, right? Check the developer options. Okay, so we have this. Now, what components help us do is divide the code from the main app into individual elements. So, as discussed, our first component will be to do items. So, in Vue.js, how we can do that is we define a variable. Okay, it will extend view. So we do view dot extend, and in here, okay, what we can first define is the template. Let's say span this is the to do list. Okay, and yeah that's about it now we have the component ready we need to tell view that you know this is a component so what we do is we say component and then we pass to do items okay now with that done what we are basically saying is if in our markup there is any tag which is like this okay like this then it's to do items which is our component so let's run our app again and yes we can see that whatever we have you know, printed in the template is coming here all right but this is in line so most of the time this may not work for us so how do we define you know a piece of template we can use for now we can use this now Vue.js have the option of creating a dot vue file where we can you know it's like one single file which will have the script the template and the CSS but for that we will need some you know processors and so i'm going to hold on to that for now when i integrate vue.js with laravel i will use uh, you know vueify as a package so that we can do those things but for now we will use the template so in this now we will require the entire to-do list right so i'll go to this fiddle and i'll just simply copy this this is what we actually want right so I'll just paste it here okay now it will require to do's right if without it it will not work so if I run this right now it will break oh I'm sorry I haven't changed this so we have a template so we will say ID and what was the ID run it again yes so as expected you don't have any to do's because this to do's is not anywhere in the component right now there are two ways to do it either the component can have a data attribute something like this 
what we had done with our previous tutorial but only difference in a component is that in component we cannot directly do to do's and you know do do this instead we will have to return it so I'll have to write something like return which is object and then if I pass this Okay, I think I have done something wrong. Um, yeah, this is a function. Okay, yeah. So we have the data, but you know, ideally, I mean, when we have HTTP calls, we can do that, but right now I want to show you the properties of Vue.js and components so for now we will remove this from here and what instead we will do is I'll copy this part and in our main app okay we will have to do's so basically the main app is passing the data into the directive okay now for our directive to know this that you know we are going to get the data how we do that is if if you would have used angular you will be all, already familiar so to do's equals to do's okay now this will mean that i am passing a property into the directive so in our component we will add a props and in that we will add to do's this will tell Vue.js that okay this component will get a property called to do's now if we run this we will get a strange behavior okay the reason is um, this is now treated as a string okay if I you know do to do's and run it okay I think it's breaking somewhere for one moment let's just remove this and I will then show you yeah so you can see I am printing the to do's and it's basically taking this as a string right I don't want that I know it's an object so to pass objects what we need to do is basically come here and add this no semi uh, colon and then if we run it we get our data point okay so you need to keep a track of this if you are passing a string then this will work but if it is an object then do this all right let's get rid of this json print now you can see we have the state and functions but we haven't really declared them right so the first thing which i'll do is as we have done in the previous tutorials we can have methods in here components will can have their own methods and i will just copy the to do completed and it's going to be the same logic so yeah with that done uh, I think we are pretty close um, let's run it again yes I can swap it the only thing is the styling okay I haven't copied the CSS file so just let me hold on to this and run it again okay so you can see we have a component where which is independent of the data you know but the main app for now has the responsibility of you know sending the data we are sending the data through properties to the directive and then the directive is responsible for 
rendering the data in whatever possible ways. Uh, let us just copy the code for delete as well. Our component is here. So this dot to do's dot remove. Let us run it again. I don't have the add form, so if I delete, then it's gone. But yeah, you can see the app is now running. We have kind of you know divided our code. The to do items is the component, and it is it has the responsibility of maintaining the to do items, and our main app is just providing the data. So yeah, that's about it. That's how we create components. In the next tutorial, we will add the to do add form and then we will need to make sure that you know once the to do is added from the to do add form it is then passed on to our to do items component so that it can display it properly thanks for watching guys